Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the Karen episode. That's right you guys. So uh, last season it was the night where I actually saw the Rift, black all black Rift SVJ for the very first time. You guys have seen it before. I'll Super nice owner at Pure Exhaust Corp on Instagram. Put a link to his, some pictures of it here. Page in uh, the description. So what happened? So first we'll get into that. And then um, I have some content that I had saved up from this summer uh, after this. But I wanted to talk about this because I felt like it needed some explanation and that explanation goes as this. So, sort of around the start of the summer, um, the Rift SVJ, the all black as you'll see, uh, was rolling through Yorkville where I filmed. He wasn't doing anything crazy, it was just, he was actually rolling kind of slow. Car was sort of like idle noise. Um, it is stray pipe. Group of sort of up and coming car spotters, a group of like younger teenager uh, car spotters. Uh, had spotted it. We all made our way to the corner of the intersection. Um, so where I was, um, I couldn't get to that intersection uh, quick enough, obviously, because my disability and my crutches, I couldn't. It happened uh, this year with the SL65 Black Series. I saw it, but I couldn't get to the corner in time to film it taking off, uh, which is a big bummer. Um, but anyway, so we get, it rolls up to the light, uh, it gets the green light. So at the intersection where the green light is, there's a left hand turn. So it's it's Avenue Road and Yorkville Ave. So there's only uh, Yorkville or uh, Avenue Road going north to south. And then there's Yorkville uh, Ave that meets up with it and you can only go left or right. So the light, now you guys know that spot well is where I film. There's the big archway, you're turning left and you have a turning light for left-hand turn only, and then all the pedestrians after that light's turn uh, is done, all the pedestrians can go. So here's what happens. So he rolls up, uh, turns left, and then launches it. You'll hear it launch. I guess what would happen is these two extremely entitled Karens, total class act entitled Karens, um, I'll put the now, here's clip a picture coming of them. up here. You'll see it's just outrageous. They freak out. They freak out at the noise of the SVJ. But they're like yelling because they're like, well, he almost hit us because he was turning left and we were trying to cross the street. But the thing is, is they were going against the pedestrian uh, no hand signal, which meant he had the right of way because he had the turn uh, the left hand turned green, which meant them crossing was a no-go, which was red. But they're trying to yell and scream. So they're yelling, I don't know exactly why, but they're yelling at 16 year old kids. These up and coming car spotters, they all have cameras. And they're these two elderly, or well not elderly, but these two retirees are screaming. I like, I mean, at the top of their lungs at these young kids. Now, I don't care who you are, you don't yell at other people's kids. You just don't, like that's a big no-no. So I, here's where my, here's where I come into play. I see this, I see that they're yelling at 16 year old kids. I think that's wrong. Now, but anybody that was there will tell you, and uh, Noah, when you see this, please in the comments, confirm this for me and a few other people that were there that watch these videos, Please confirm this for me in the comments. I walk up cool and calm and explain to them, I say, can we please just take it down, relax, let's just talk about it like, you know, grown adults, let's figure this out cool and calmly. Like I said that, like I said, just let's, you know, blah, 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 blah. they're yelling and screaming at me. Here, like, like, look. How old are you? I'm you yell at a 16 year old Absolutely. kid. I yell at my own kid. My kids are doing fantastic in life. Oh yeah, diet. you're so much better than everybody. You have money. You're, oh God, everybody should rule you. 
Yeah, yeah. Everybody should lie. You Our kids grew up to be this and that, and we're better than everybody because we did this and we did that. And so I'm just like, finally, I'm over it. I'm, oh, we all bow down to you. You're the king of earth, and like, you're the best thing to ever happen to humanity. And like, we had just like could not believe that these two people that said they were like the pinnacle of society were yelling at 16 year old kids. So I try to stick up for them, young car spotters. Uh, but that's the wrong way to deal with it is yell at people. I tried my hardest to be proactive and talk to them calmly and and and, and cool, but they just went off for like no reason. So like that's why you see them like this because I pulled out my camera. I was like, I want you guys to see how you're acting. These two entitled Karens. Okay, look. Yeah, the car is loud. It's a straight piped SVJ. God. But Rabbit, rabbit. Exhaust. Here's what I don't get. If you're retired, why would you buy a condo in the middle of the biggest city of Canada, like the middle of downtown Toronto. That's like the worst place on earth to retire if you want peace and quiet. If you want peace and quiet, move like my parents did. My parents, they retired, they moved to a mountain, they live 2,400 vertical feet up a mountain. They get peace and quiet, they have a beautiful dog. Like that SVJ is not the only loud thing in downtown Toronto. You got uh, buses, uh, uh, loud trucks, Harley Davidsons, uh, sport bikes laying on their throttle, whisk whiskey throttle in it. And like, please, please like, share, and subscribe. Comment to below is your favorite car. And uh, let's get into it. Dude, that's sick. 765LT, my buddy Sean, 765LT, and then this. That's uh, Papaya Spark. Look at this, Rosso Foco 812, super spider. Wow, Rosso Foco 812. Wow, wow, there's the man himself. Daniel! How you doing? Good! Yeah, yeah man, I'll send you some pics. <laughs> Ooh, that's sick.
I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder Cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fat Give me one shot and I'll never get the thrown back I'm sick of being cautious I'ma go cause some pain, can't stop this I'ma steal everybody's lane, call the shoplift Sick of hearing everyone complain when they thoughtless Taste the pain, it's like candy canes It makes me go change into a better frame and